everybody. Today I'm going to show you my cross-country ski trail groomer. Got it here in front of me. Uh, I built it a couple weeks ago and I've used it a few times so far. I've made a few modifications to it and as of uh, today it's been working out really well for me. So I made it out of treated 2x6s. Uh, the dimensions are 4 feet wide by 8 feet long and I did that so I could use just standard uh, 8 foot long lumber. I made it four feet wide rather than five or a little wider um, as well so we could take it down some of the more narrow trails that we have around our place here. I didn't want it too wide uh, running into sticks and, and logs and things like that. So I'm going to end up putting uh, full dimensions and parts list at some point in this video. So I'll look for that. Um, I'll lay out everything I used and, and all the sizes of everything I got. So. I did a lot of looking at other people's YouTube videos and you'll see some similarities in, in this to some of the other ones on YouTube, but there are a few different things that I did that, that I like really well and the way they've been working out for me. So it's got a similar design uh, in that it has some angle pieces on the inside here that uh, kind of groom the snow and funnel it over and then funnel it back into the back side, which is the packer. So that's pretty, pretty um, similar. But then the back, I, I did something a little bit different. I cut uh, short pieces of two by six and cut a radius on them. And then I took some black hard plastic trailer runners. They come in, they're for putting on a snowmobile trailer. They come in 60 inch pieces. And then I cut those and then bent them around those radius pieces like this. So you can see there's uh, seven of them and then those make a nice surface and they pack the snow well and then they also put grooves in it, sort of like a professional groomer. And then I also put those, uh, I cut them length, lengthwise on a table saw and put them on the bottom of the runners as well. And then a late addition that I added was a couple wider pieces on the front. So I, when I was coming, I'd go down on the trail and come back and the skinny runners would dig in to the already groomed trail, so I added some some wider um, black plastic on the front as well. To pull it, I have been using my hitch that I have for my ice house. So this is for a modern ice house, and I just made a couple brackets out of some tube aluminum, nothing too fancy. Just cut notches in them with a jigsaw and then bolted down this board. And this board also has some angled brackets to strengthen it underneath for, for pulling on. So this groomer in itself could be used just to groom trails flat if you're looking to do that. But I was looking to groom it for cross country skiing as well. So I also added a track center. So I'll show you that. So it goes on easily like that. I, I put it off to the side because when I groom, I'll go down and then come back. And eventually I'll want to make a skate ski path as well. So I want the tracks to be over as far to the side as they can get while still having some snow packed on the side. So when you want to ski, it folds down like this. And then when you don't want to, or when you want to, when you want to lay tracks, you lay it down. And when you don't want to, it just folds up and out of the way like that. I do add weight to it. Um, we had some 50 pound bags of corn or bird seed or sand, anything, and I put that in here and that seemed to work really well. At first, it was just this box. So it's basically a box just made out of plywood, three quarter inch plywood and some two by sixes. And then the bottom has the track setters on it. So like I said before, I'll put dimensions for, for what these are, but they just, um, are bolted on the bottom and then they make the, the classic tracks. These, um, I guess I'll call them wings, I added on later because when I was setting the tracks, it was plowing up a big pile of snow on the left hand side so it wasn't um, nice and groomed. And since I added these, it's uh, really worked out well.
thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you could please subscribe to my channel if you like the content thank you